I mean, you can't, well, let me start about home places first, whether it's the islands or the motherland. We're normally 10, 10 or 15 degrees above the equator, you know, eating fruits and vegetation. That's live electric fruits, we're electric beings, you follow? Here in London, UK, we're 52 degrees above the equator. So it's imperative that we go out of our way to get the real food and produce. You follow what I'm saying? So yeah, I've I got books and DVDs that go on that. today. I, I, I'm already feeling the effects of that. Feeling the effects? I am. I actually Well, am. basically, so we, we got to eat, uh, you know, melanin-conducive foods, right? Because mm -hmm. you know your melanin, you know your pigmentation. Mm -hmm. How much you know about the melanin? Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Any questions on the melanin firing away? Because I deal with, like, melanin-conducive foods, you follow? Mm -hmm. And then there's a time to eat and what we eat. What I'm yeah. saying is a time to eat, I'm referring to something called the Sarcadian River which is governed by the super new, the super charismatic nuclei part of our brain. Fellow, yeah. on top of the thalamus. So after seven o'clock when the sun's appearing to go down, mm -hmm. your body wants to shut down. Mm -hmm. The reason it wants to shut down towards nine o'clock, you feel like, yeah, nice relaxful, is that your body wants to start secreting an amino acid called melatonin. Mm -hmm. Fellow I'm saying? Yeah. And then melatonin goes all the way through, say like from midnight to 2 a.m. said it's as high as peak, that's when you're in a nice deep sleep. You know, like you're winning a lot of yeah. when you dream and all that, you wake up and there's no money there. But by 8 o'clock now when you're rising with the sun, like daylight right now, you're in the serotonin. Mm -hmm. So serotonin is actually the precursor to the melatonin. You follow yeah. what I'm saying? So ideally we should be going to bed on an empty bowel. But for when we was younger, we were told, have your milk, have your supper and go to bed, right? But that milk is dairy. Now it's said that we're lactose intolerant, so we can't even break down the lactose. The reason we couldn't break down the lactose is we don't possess the enzyme lactase to break down the lactose. And aside from that now, cow's milk is for cans. Goat's milk is for a kid. So that milk and cookies, the, the cookie was acidic. We're meant to be like 7 plus on the pH level. You know what I'm saying? So we're out of whack. So these things here will let us know, you know, the foods that's conducive to us. One of my teachers was a great... Dr. Sabi right here. Yeah. Follow. Yeah. And you got like Dr. Sabi diets. I got all books pertaining to him. He didn't pen books himself, but I got all the stuff pertaining to him, his diet, uh, Dr. Layla Africa, being a full anything you want to know. Diabetes, got a lot on that. This one here is a good one for your sisters. Because it goes into um, like five boy complications. Yeah. You know, PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So it goes into the things that you can, you know, you can heal yourself. Yeah. They don't teach you, you can eat black mission figs and reduce the size of the fibroid and it's out of here. But the doctor wants to play on your emotion, you know, and say, oh, look at the size of that fibroid. Your womb's going to come out. It ain't meant to do the size, it's just where it is. But it can be reduced out of here. No injections, no medication, no giving your womb up, you know what I'm saying, to Dracula and Frankenstein. Keep your womb, you dig me? So yeah, there's all things of that nature right here. And this one goes into things like um, epigenetics. It's basically, they don't need to tamper your DNA now, they just change the environment around you. Because it's said that we're a product of our environment. If they change our immediate environment, they're going to change us, they're going to come to change. What happens when your system rejects the, the change? You know, all that time, but then they have the mic close. Damn! What happens when? What happens when um, basically your system is rejecting the changes? What it is is that you could be forcing certain substances to interact with your body that don't naturally get along. So just say, like, a lot of people over here will go shop in Tesco or Sainsbury who purport to sell food. Now we know that it's not even food, it's processed food. Processed food is unnatural, it's not organic. Organic food means it should be carbon based. That's all organic means. But a lot of people are using the word organic in loose terms and purporting to have organic food and you go in there and they got soy and all kinds of crap that works against our bodies. You follow what I'm saying? Our genetic makeup, because we are different underneath. So back to the melanin, what we gotta do is learn what the precursors to this melanin is. The precursors to the melanin is a amino uh, amino aromatic amino acid called tyrosine and then the precursor of the tyrosine is something called phenylalanine which is another you know amino acid now we get these through our digestion so it's imperative we should be eating these con uh, conducive foods the third one I left out is tryptophan that's a whole other story so we got to get the right amount of sleep and eat at the at the, the appropriate times and not eating after the sun's gone down you know, that's the antique of Rome. That's why the Europeans love eating, you know, till midnight in a restaurant by the, by the curb. We're not Roman, you know, romantic. That's the antique of Rome. Yeah. And you go into bed with all that stuff in your belly, and that's all gassing and fermenting. But your body's trying to communicate with you, start saying, you know, your body's saying to you, because your body's made up of organs, right? And the biggest organ in your body is your skin. 
So it's playing musical chairs on you. But we're not listening, we're not tuning in. We're not tuning to the right frequency. So your body's trying to tell you, you had all day to eat and feed us in the full of the sun. But now you want to eat when the sun's gone down? Guess what we're going to do while you're sleeping? We're going to shove all that stuff up in your colon. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have trouble you're sleeping and yeah. And most of us, we sleep incorrectly. We follow all on the right side and impacting on our, on our liver. And, you know, silliness. So there's a lot to learn right here. So I got like the doc. Double Black, who's a great metaphysicist. I'm here every day. Every day. I got some beautiful body fragrances too. Add to my collection. Add to my collection. No doubt. This should be your first. Hand me out a lax. It's only nine bucks, alright? So forget Amazon. Come and support your boy at Brooklyn Keck, New Bar. You heard me? Definitely will. Do. This brother right here was a great um, biologist, marine biologist, and embryologist. His name is Ernest Everett Justin. He's born in like something like 1886. Mm -hmm. Why don't they tell us about that? You feel what I'm saying? They this guy's still alive. <laughs> exactly. So we gotta, we gotta, we we gotta tell our own story. It's our story. His story is his story. You follow? We gotta educate ourselves. Each one teach one out here, y'all. No doubt. But we gotta reach that one to teach that one. We normally do home tree stem, you heard? But every topic I got, I got more in the bag as well. So if you ever wanna get the dietary thing under your belt, I've got more that actually teach you that. That gives you the recipes, so electro diet, got all that. You want to change the structure of your water, got all that. What foods and to get rid of bugs and you know things in your intestine, how to give up meats and dairy, I got all that right here. That is what I. Don't be a stranger, all right? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come during the week. All right, anytime. Take my car, Joan. Just holler at me, y'all. Thank you. Honey. Very welcome, y'all. Keep up, keep up. I'm not even going to say try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it. We, 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 need, we need more support from your sisters. There's, yeah. there's a difference. You know, slavery is gone, but mental slavery is the new world. And Before you bounce, please please expand on that. Because that's what we were speaking about earlier on. Go ahead. Um, you're on, you're on just basically world. in terms of education, in terms of... It's like this, we were taught to hate what belongs to us, what is right. ours, and to love the external. And in search of these, people have despised. So even if you come from cultures, maybe an African culture, where an ancestor or an elder might come and say, use this natural remedy, people are so enslaved mentally like that they will reject that. And, and they will and will go to the pharmaceutical so they are still very much enslaved in this 21st slavery, right? yeah and there's also that consumption black people have become the consumers they need to go back to being the producers need to Instead go of back the consumers yeah so yeah. my man b behind the camera he posed a, a very um pertinent question out of about black spending so you know, you know, like Black Wall Street mm -hmm. in 1920, yeah. Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and you know, it took seven months for black dollars to leave the black community. In 2018, it takes seven seconds for the almighty pound to leave a so-called person of color's pocket. That's disgraceful, right? It's, it's atrocious, it's atrocious. And whilst the black nation is sleeping, the white nation is taking what's yours from behind your, right under your eyes. So. There's an African woman around the corner of a hair store. She's been there from day dot before any of these stores opened up. And no one supports her. I'll go support her even if I'm paying a buck for a lip check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you got some of our sisters who are like, oh, yeah, but she chairs too much or she chucks. I'm like, yo. What's a buck mark? I think or even the a consumer, this this whole consumption and this whole fashion, um, and the modern slavery really is the materialistics and the fashion. So if you're based on that, then you're just gonna follow what technology and society tell you what it is. And the fact that we all should be learning to do for self anyway, which the schools don't teach you to do, because you leave school and you're trying to work for somebody else instead of doing for self. Because if you don't know how to do anything yourself, you need to buy everything, and that's where we're at today. Everything needs to be bought. And we need you out here in a week and come teach you. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an honor. You're on point, y'all like Dutch, you hear me? Yeah, it would be an honor, but I'll see you during the week, right. bruv, yeah? You have a nice Thank day. Thank you. Nice evening, all right?